Hello guys, my name is Mystic Gem and welcome to Run Gun Jump Gun. I love the name of this game because it pretty much describes the entirety of what you're doing in the game. It's a very cool game I purchased last week and I just wanted to show it to you guys even though I have played it a little bit. I wanted to get good at the game before I tried to do a video of it and I think I've done a good job of doing that. So let's go ahead and jump into some of these levels just so I can show you what the game is about. So let's see, as you can see I've completed all of the first set of levels. There are three sets of levels which I will show you as we get further into the video. I'll show you the differences between the three sets of levels and how they are challenging. Uh, you can see on this first uh, grouping of levels on the first set that I actually aced all of them. And then here is where it starts getting harder again. Um, and I will show you what I mean by acing the level in just a moment here. Let's do number 11, lucky number 11, turrets. Now there is like some kind of story going on here. It's very vague and it doesn't uh, seem to come together very much. But it's interesting and it gives you some kind of motivation to keep going if the game itself, gameplay just isn't enough for you, okay? So, it says, hee hee, look at birdie, shoot. Birdie having fun. So, a uh, fun, interesting thing about this game is that it is controlled with only two buttons. Now, you see those green orbs that I was collecting there. Um, you can get through the stage any number of ways. The, all you gotta do is survive. The screen automatically scrolls from left to right. There's no way to stop it. It pretty much just does what it's gonna do. Um, to me, the orbs... Or, let me backtrack. You don't really have to get every orb to finish the stage. I'm pretty sure you can finish the stage and finish the whole game without collecting any orbs. What the orbs represent is a perfect run on a stage or a challenging run. Actually putting yourself to the test and doing the damn thing. As you can see, I had a good start there. Um, it's kind of hard because you kind of have to understand how the physics of your of your booster works. See, I, I actually got all of 10 orbs in the stage, which I hadn't done before because when I was going through it before, I was just concentrating on finishing the stage. Once I realized that I could finish the stages, um, not easily, but that I could actually finish them, I wanted to go back and collect the orbs. So, I mean, I've already played this game for a couple hours, which um, it was less than $10. You probably spend $10 to go to the movies and watch a movie for two hours so or you know an hour and a half if you're lucky you probably spend more than that if you freaking go buy uh, popcorn and whatnot eight out of nine not bad but the thing about it is that when I return to the stage I don't have to just um, I don't have to just collect that one orb to to perfect the stage I actually have to collect all nine in one run which is what makes it challenging and that's why I said that getting the orbs represents having a perfect run Oh, see, I fucked it up. I had to boost up quickly to get those three orbs there. Oh shit, I I missed the uh, I missed the button on the keyboard. Ooh, that's that's a tough one. How do I do that? Huh? See, it's hard to tell if they want me to dive under. Oh, yep, they wanted me to dive under. See, you gotta kind of figure out what they want you to do. Like, what do the developers of the game consider to be a perfect run, or a challenging run, a worthwhile run? Oh shit, what? I missed one? I missed one. Which one did I fucking miss? Alright, so you got the gist of the game. Uh, most of the stages in the first section are like this. Pretty simple. I mean, they add these, uh, these spinning discs. Some have turrets, some have spikes as you can see here. Overall, it's, um, it's variations of the same challenge. It's, uh, once you get the hang of it, it's not bad. The name of this stage is just uh, a sad face emoticon crying. This guy says, my belly, I think I'm dying, ugh. Um, so yeah, really weird sense of humor in this game. Okay, I'm gonna have to shoot those. Yeah, and I don't know if I mentioned, well I know I mentioned that the game is controlled with just two buttons. Um, since the side scrolling action is automated or automatic, you, uh, you press right shift to shoot outward and you press uh, left shift to shoot downward which keeps you afloat and when you are hovering those bullets are actually bullets it's not like a rocket or something like that enemies and obstacles below you will get destroyed by your downward shot so let's back out of this I'm actually gonna show you the um, the second set of stages which you actually have to get orbs to unlock 
So I know I said before that you could go through the game without um, collecting orbs. You can, but you're not going to unlock the second set of stages. And honestly, if you're not able to collect at least a, some of the orbs, the second set of, sta second set of stages is going to be super hard for you. So let me show you what is going on and what I mean by that. So again, you can see I actually completed the first set of stages on the second, um, or the first grouping if I'm going to use my consistent terminology. The first grouping of stages, I finished them, but I didn't perfect them. And I actually didn't beat any of the following stages because they get fucking hard. So... Let's check this out. Let's start with one of the ones that I haven't done. Now, a word from our sponsors. Yeah. So every every section has like its own story. And if you didn't catch that right now, the difference between these, this set of stages and the previous set of stages is that this set of stages allows a break from the top to the bottom of the screen. Meaning that I can go through the top and pop up in the bottom which surprisingly really changes how you think about the levels and how you go about things because every time you run through a stage everything is uh, preset that enemy there ahead of me is always going to shoot the same shots so you kind of learn the stage and you learn what to avoid if you went too high on one run you just kind of let up on that um, that left shift and you hopefully decrease momentum and you fly right under that obstacle that got you the previous time Oh yeah, did I mention that this game has a dope fucking soundtrack? If you cannot hear that, please turn your headphones up. I would try to keep the volume on this uh, recording or when I'm editing it at an appropriate level for you to get that um, without drowning out the sound of my voice, of course. Yeah, this I, I, I really like this. The soundtrack, like, completes it for me. Oh, yeah, all right, not bad. This is brought to you by Space Paste. Bumblebees. Let's do another couple of these and then I will show you the third set of levels that there is to unlock. Which, uh, believe it or not, actually gets fucking harder than this. So as you can see, I pretty easily completed the level, but I wasn't focused on getting the orbs. When you focus on getting the orbs, that is when the level of difficulty significantly increases. And I think that's why I hadn't completed any of these stages, because by the time I got to these, I was so focused on trying to perfect every stage that I wasn't allowing myself to finish the stage without perfecting it. Let's go through... Oh, shit. Right where that orb was is right where this turret is fucking shooting. Well, fuck it. Yeah. Basically, if there's an orb there, if there's an orb somewhere, there's a way to get it without dying. They, those orbs are not placed arbitrarily. The people who made this game placed them very specifically as a challenge for you to get them. Um, I don't know or think if, I don't really think anything happens if you collect all the orbs. I would be really interested to see that or if anybody does that. I, I don't, you know, I hate to doubt myself, but I don't think that I'm going to be that person. But who knows? I really like playing this game. It's a fun game. You can just kind of play and zone out on without doing a lot of heavy thinking. So I probably would return to this game periodically and try to perfect stages that I've missed. It might just take me a while, maybe a period of a couple months to get around to doing that. <sighs> See, avoiding, avoiding the shots is pretty easy, but avoiding the shots and getting the orbs, that's a whole other story. So let's actually back out of this. I had enough for that for now. It tells you how many deaths you've got on each stage, which if you're actually trying to perfect the, uh, if you're actually trying to perfect the stages, you're gonna get so many deaths on this one, the first one that I just beat out of these, uh, the set, the top to bottom set. Uh, I died 68 times before I beat it. I, you saw me die like what, three times? So I died like 65 times. That's because I was trying to perfect the stage. You're gonna fucking die a lot if you're trying to perfect the stages. So, you know, if, if that's frustrating for you, then you may not like this game. But if you are driven to complete challenges and perfect stages and and play to the best of your ability, you probably would really enjoy going through this. So anyway, let's get to the third set of levels here. No, wait, let me go back. Let me go back one second. This set is called Orbital Fortress Aqueous Malicious. Why? I don't know exactly why it's called that in particular, but the aqueous part you can probably take a guess what is going to go on here. The end of days has revealed the truth. Sure, buddy. Sure. That's what they've all been saying. Oh, yeah. Oh, I almost forgot what makes the water stage so hard. Not just the fact that it's water. 
But when you go in the water, your jetpack or your downward boost is fucking reversed. And as you can see, it's not just reversed and you stay in the water the whole time and it's flipped upside down. You have to alternate between going in the water and using the boost to go down and coming out of the water and using the boost to go up, which is uh, quite a mindfuck, to put it bluntly. Oh, see, because I was trying to boost, I was trying to boost to get up out of the water and it was taking me further into the water. So that's the, that's the mindfuck part of this, uh, of this game mode. See, if I keep hitting that shift and I don't let go of it because my mind is telling me, go up, get out of the water, I'm hitting that left shift and it's sending me further down into the water. I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to beat this, especially not while narrating or talking. But let's see. Can I actually, oh fuck. Cause I bounced out of the water and that caused me, when I did finally hit the shift a couple seconds late, I, it caused me to actually shoot up further out of the water, which I did not want. Woo! We did it. Our warlords have betrayed us. Let's do a couple more of these so I can just illustrate the point further to you that these stages are really hard. I know you saw me perfect a couple stages uh, previously, uh, and I can barely fucking beat these. I mean, I am trying to get the orbs, not necessarily trying to perfect it, but just trying to see what a good run might look like. Huh? Ah! It's, uh, it's tough. Because as soon as you hit the water, your guy flips, and when you should be normally, like, just descending a little bit, you start ascending back into the air or out of the water, um, which is just really weird. Like, to stay in the water, you have to start hitting that boost as soon as you hit the water. Because if you're hitting the boost before you hit the water, then obviously you're going to be flying away from the water. So you got to hit it, like, right as you hit the surface of the water, and vice versa for when you're coming out of the water, too, and you want to stay in the air. Oh, shit, 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 shit. Hey, we did it. Civilization has betrayed us. Huh. So yeah, each of these three um, sets of levels or, or styles of levels seem to have their own disconnected story. If they are connected in some way, I can't tell. But then again, as you saw, I haven't finished... Um, I haven't finished the second set of levels and I definitely have not finished the water set of levels here. Huh, huh. Uh, man, this, that, this setup is just fucking weird. Okay, so I'll give this a couple more tries and uh, probably wrap up with this level here. Come on. Okay, fly out of the water, dip into the water, fly out of the water, dip into the water. But how do I prevent him from... How do I prevent him from bobbing up and down so much that he doesn't hit the spikes? I think I already need to be like just calmly floating in the water by the time I hit that part. God damn it, I, I literally honestly don't see a way to get past those spikes there. Uh, uh, whoa, I'm stumped. Okay, guys, so I am going to leave it there. Let me back out of this so we don't just have this playing in the background as I'm doing my outro here. We'll leave it there so the cool music still plays in the background. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this game. I hope you enjoyed watching it as much as I am enjoying playing it. Definitely check it out. It is pretty new I think and it's less than ten dollars so you'll get plenty of hours of entertainment for that amount of money which I think is a good deal anyway thank you so much for watching just a reminder this game is called run gun jump gun because I know I was talking about you should go and buy it and blah 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 probably a good idea if I say the name of the game again but back on my train of thought there Thank you so much for watching guys, definitely make sure to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one, and please drop a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Other than that guys, I hope you're having a good one, and I will see you next time. Peace!